everyone. My name is Haley. Hi, everyone. I'm Josh. And we are with the Center for Women and Families. We're here today to talk to you all about healthy relationships. The Center for Women and Families is a nonprofit organization that works in Southern Indiana and in Kentucky. We provide supportive services to people who have experienced sexual violence and relationship violence. But another big part of our work focuses on preventing that violence from even happening in the first place. So we go to schools and out in the community to talk to young people about topics like healthy relationships, but recognizing those warning signs of unhealthy relationships, boundaries, healthy communication, all of those types of things. So today in this video, we're really going to be focusing on healthy relationships. To get us started, we've included a few resources for you all. Some of the things that we're talking about today may get you interested in finding out more information, asking questions about your relationship, or just talking to somebody to get some support. So the first one is the Center for Women and Families 24-7 Crisis and Information Line. You can call this number at any time, any day, and talk to somebody, um, ask those questions, get support, or get information about other community resources. The second one is the Love is Respect text line. So you can text love is to 2252. And we're gonna be including some different quotes and resources from Love is Respect throughout these videos. So you'll find out more about them later. Or you can go to the online chat at loveisrespect.org and you can utilize that online chat from their homepage. These first three resources are totally anonymous. You don't have to give any identifying information if you don't feel comfortable doing so. And then the last two are just Josh and I's email addresses. This isn't going to be anonymous, but please feel free to email us at any time. We're happy to answer questions and talk with you all. All right, so jumping into healthy relationships a little bit. Today we're going to focus on romantic relationships specifically. We know that you can have all sorts of different types of relationships with different kinds of people, but today we're going to be focusing on two, uh, a relationship between two partners. So one thing to note is that here, <clears throat> healthy doesn't mean perfect. I'm not sure there are any perfect relationships, but there are lots of healthy ones. Healthy relationships have conflict, healthy relationships have arguments, and that's okay. Healthy conflict happens in lots of different healthy relationships, um, but nothing really happens in a perfect world. So just wanted to note that. Um, the next thing is that healthy relationships may not be healthy 100% of the time. That still means that they're healthy. We know that especially in difficult situations like now with coronavirus, People can make mistakes, people can get frustrated with each other and say things that they don't mean. We know that happens a lot. It doesn't mean that the relationship isn't healthy. We're just hoping that people are able to work their way through that in a healthy way. The last thing to note is that every relationship is different. What works for one relationship might not work for another. Different partnerships have different communication styles. For example, talking it out immediately after something happens and really hashing it out and getting into it might work for somebody but somebody else might want to take some space and collect their own thoughts before coming back to talk about. So it just depends on the partners and that relationship itself. All right, so now what we're gonna ask you to do in just a sec um, is to do a little bit of investigation and reading on your own. Um, so One Love is a really great organization that does a lot of similar work to this in terms of talking about healthy relationships and unhealthy relationships and things to be aware of. So what we're going to ask you all to do in just a minute is pause the video and then go ahead and click the link in the description, read that article for yourself, and then Haley is going to go back and talk about it. But before you guys do that, I just want to read this quote because I think we really like it. The healthy relationships manifest themselves as healthy communication, but in order to have a healthy relationship, you need to love yourself first. Go ahead, pause the video, click that link in the description, read the article. Once you're done, go ahead and come back. All right, so hopefully you all have did to pause the video. Um, if you did, I really encourage you to go visit that website. One Love has a lot of amazing information on their website about healthy relationships, unhealthy relationships, um, in all types of relationships. So that includes romantic partners, friends, family, um, all of those. So now we're just going to go over some key takeaways um, that hopefully you all found on the website and discuss a little bit more about those. So like Josh said, nobody is 100% healthy all the time, but the 10 signs from one love are behaviors that we should all strive for in our relationships. So even if we aren't meeting them all the time, we should be striving to be better at each of these things because at the end of the day, that's just gonna make ourselves healthier and our relationships healthier. 
So relationships should feel balanced and equal. So that means that both people are putting in the same amount of effort into that relationship. So for example, if you're really focused on these healthy behaviors, but your partner isn't and doesn't care about them, that doesn't feel very balanced. This also means that each people should have equal decision-making power in the relationship. So both people's opinions um, matter in the same way, and both people will feel like they can have a discussion about different things in a safe way. So one person isn't deciding everything or sharing their opinion more than the other person, but both people feel that they can do that in a balanced and equal way. Um, another important aspect of healthy relationships is that conflict is normal and expected, but there is definitely a healthy way to handle it. Some of us may be better at healthy conflict than others, um, and of course, none of us are going to be perfect at it at the, all, all of the time. Um, but healthy conflict um, is usually in a calm way where both people feel that they can really get at the root of the problem um, and feel like they can share their opinions and share how they're feeling and their thoughts not be retaliated against. Um, unhealthy conflict is when somebody blows up, belittles another person, makes it feel like it's all of their fault. Um, so that's definitely conflict in an unhealthy way and should be avoided when possible. Again, some of us may have to work on this more than others, um, but we should all be thinking about how we can approach conflict um, in a healthy way um, and exhibit those healthy behaviors. So relationships should also be fun. That doesn't mean that relationships aren't going to take work, and it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have to have some of those uncomfortable conversations sometimes, um, but there should be times where it does feel easy and where you feel at ease around your partner. You shouldn't be afraid to say something or afraid to express an opinion, um, and you should feel like you bring out the best in each other, and you should feel like you can have fun, and at the end of the day, that this relationship is really making you happy. So you should try your hardest to talk with your partner about the importance of these signs and these healthy behaviors. Um, so communicate with each other about where you feel like your strengths are or where you feel like you could really work on um, your behaviors with each other. Um, this isn't gonna happen just immediately. Um, so communicating about these healthy behaviors is really important. And um, you and your partner should also hold each other accountable for maintaining these healthy behaviors. Um, depending on what you're going through, for example, um, COVID-19 and maybe being separated from each other may cause you um, to exhibit some unhealthy behaviors in some ways. Um, but make sure that you're holding each other accountable um, and talking about it with each other in a healthy way um, and recognizing that you may not be perfect all the time, but you should be trying to be healthy. All right, so now we're going to ask you all to do a little bit of thinking and processing on your own. So we have a couple of questions for you to answer and submit to your teacher. So the first one is, what are your negotiables and non-negotiables when it comes to relationships? We want you all to take some time to think about some behaviors that another person might exhibit that you'd be comfortable with, that you'd be okay with, that you'd be flexible with. Um, even if they may not be your favorite, at the end of the day, they're not your deal breakers. And then some things that you wouldn't tolerate, so some things that would break the deal for you. So take to think about those and then we want y'all to think how do we learn about these relationships all of these messages that we're getting from external sources about relationships and what they should be like what kinds of messages are we getting from society and the people around us take a couple minutes to think about those all right and then a final wrap up we got one more quote from love is respect which says Healthy relationships are based on equality and respect. You make decisions together and can openly discuss whatever you're dealing with. That's what we hope for all relationships. So just a last couple of points. As Haley mentioned before, healthy relationships take time and they take work. Not everyone's gonna be perfect at building a healthy relationship on their first try. People make mistakes, people slip up all the time. We're human, that's okay. We're just wanting to learn from our mistakes. And the last thing is that uh, building a healthy relationship isn't about checking boxes. One Love has a great article that breaks down the 10 different signs of healthy relationships and different building blocks that healthy relationships are built upon. And different articles on the internet will say six ingredients needed for a healthy relationship or four necessary qualities needed. At the end of the day, that's great, but it's mostly about feeling comfortable with your partner and feeling good in the relationship. That's what we really hope for these relationships is that you feel safe, you feel comfortable, and you feel happy. All right, so again, we've listed these resources for you all. Um, I want to emphasize again um, to please 
reach out to any of these if you feel like you have questions about your relationship or want to talk it through with somebody. Um, I would also suggest that you all go back to the One Love website. Um, they have a blog that's really great and covers a lot of different topics, healthy relationships, unhealthy relationships, consent, boundaries, communication, uh, digital communication, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so go back to their website, see if you can find a topic that interests you, and just take a look at their blog um, because it's only going to help you have a healthier relationship. So thank you all for watching our video. Um, we look forward to speaking to you again.